birds here and there throughout, and I don't mind them. Actually, um, in Green Thumb Nursery, they had sent out a newsletter recently about making a place for lizards. They help out in the garden, like eating bugs and other things that maybe you don't want. And um, as far as I know, they don't really bother my plants. But anyway, I was just out here collecting cucumbers. Now, real quick, I'm just sharing with you guys now because I'm saying, oh, this is how I do it and I just know everything because I have no idea. This is the first, maybe second time ever in my life I've grown cucumbers, but the ones here are Kirby pickling cucumbers and the ones behind there, coming up the other way, are Persian cucumbers. And I love these because I, <laughs> I've never tasted one fresh. Well, actually, that's not true. I think these are the ones that when you buy them in the little bags and they're like those little cucumbers everyone likes, they're thin and kind of like a English cucumber, you know, like just really thin skin. Uh, I think it's this variety, but I usually get these pickled already, right, at the um, Mediterranean market and stuff. So that's kind of where I've known about Persian cucumbers. So I have four here, maybe five, four of them. I can see that, you know, like that one right there. I don't know if you can see it. He's right in there. It needs like another day or so. There's a little new one coming up. There's a couple actually on that one. There's three or four on the very first plant. These guys have seen better days. I hate to pull them out. Like, I think I want to pull these out because they are obviously are yellow. There's different reasons for yellowing. So I, uh... There's just a lot of different reasons and I, I, you know, for that one being so healthy, a lot of times people say sometimes the compost or whatever might be in your bag mix, this is this bag potting soil that I had put in here, or garden soil, raised bed soil, um, it might not be finished, meaning it's still a little bit hot and that hot compost will pull the everything <laughs> out of your uh, plants, right? So that could be one thing, maybe that area over there was better than this area, maybe just a different bag, I don't know. Over there it's more like they're yellow on the outside, the middle one is more green. So, you know, it could be the fertilizer, it could be that they were sick to begin with, it could be lots of things. Like this one right here, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of it. I don't know if you can see, like he only goes up to here and he's mostly yellow leaves and just like a sorry little stem. But he's been trying to put out cucumbers, so I'm like, ugh. I just want to show you there's a couple other ones here on the Kirby that are yellow so they probably didn't make it because if they were fertilized they would be still nice green so I can see that there's tons of them. There's one, two, three, quite a few but at the very top there's, this is what I'm telling you, they'd stay green like this. So you can get rid of those ones at the bottom because they're never going to turn green, they're never going to be okay. But see how nice and big it's getting and it's still green. So once they start yellowing you know it didn't get fertilized. I would just cut it off which I probably will do. Um, I was just plucking stuff and then I was, I was out here, um, there's a little bee going around fertilizing lots of different cucumbers. So I thought, well, you know, I'll show you guys. So real quick, this guy, all I would do, because cucumbers hold on really well. It's kind of hard to cut them without actually cutting them, you know what I'm saying? You can't just really twist them off. Because um, the fruit's going to get heavy, some of them are going to get very large, right? There's another one right here. I'm going to say, even though this plant doesn't look that great, they are putting out cucumbers. So that's why it hurts me to cut them. Oh, in the middle of this trellis area, I put um, jicamas because I've never grown jicama before. So there's one here, there's one down at the end, and there's one that hasn't popped up yet. So I put another seed last week, so it might take a little while. But it's kind of cool because the root down at the bottom is what we're going to eat. That's a jicama. So anyway, um, what I want to tell you guys, this thing right here is just a tomato cage. It's actually two of them. I don't know the brand. <laughs> the sticker was still on it and I ripped it off recently. So. I don't remember what it said, but it's, it was some kind of tomato cage. It has like four panels that you can fold. So I told my husband, what if we just put one against another one and tie it at the top with zip ties? When I bought it, it came with a ton of these little ties holding it together. So I was just like, oh, we'll just double them up. So I just used the same like bread ties that it came with. If that starts shifting under the weight, which it doesn't look like it's going to have a problem, I will um, put zip ties, but for now they're okay. So as you can see, even at the top here, there's a pickling cucumber there. There's quite a few. This one is not as prolific as that Mediterranean one. The Mediterranean or Persian cucumber, I am picking at least two or three, if not more. Like you just saw I have five or six there every day. So I don't know. They're doing really great. Um, there's another one right there, a little Kirby. So I'm trying to get these guys at least to get like five or six so I can pickle them. There's another one there I can see. So maybe in the next two days, I'll get two or three more from there. But I just kind of want to show you some ideas and kind of what it looks like if you were to grow them up a trellis or whatever you want to call this. <laughs> um, they're doing great. Uh, other than, like I said, that yellowing. They're still trying though. So I think what I'm gonna do now is put out some seeds close to the ones that are dying out because I want them to start growing like other cucumber seeds that are vines. 
that will grow up here also because it seems like some of these are gonna have to just die out. I mean, I have a feeling I can even see like this one's almost completely brown. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. His root is basically here. So yeah, I'll probably pull that one. He's not gonna do much. But I'll show you some other ones I have in a pot in the other side of the garden and I'll be right back when I get there. Oh, look at that, there's another Persian kind of in there. They're all over the place. Um, maybe, but what did you say about cucumbers? I love them. <laughs> you said they're your favorite? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why we do it. Okay, well let me head over, like I said, to my uh, potted uh, cucumbers. I want no, I want a dress. You want a dress? Okay. So right. these guys over here I grew from seed. I have some green uh, cloth out. It's bird netting. I actually got that like at the 99 cent store basically, which is good because it's a long piece. But I just threw it on there because the birds started picking at the cucumbers and everything else that was in this area. They completely ate the second round of um, radishes. <laughs> radishes, I keep saying that. Beets that I had here. So anyway, this is the bush champion cucumber and hopefully you can kind of see that it doesn't vine as well it doesn't really want to hold on and it's staying kind of compact it's staying kind of small for all the flowers that it has and it has a big cucumber right here as you can see but the bottom of them is not as good so uh, hopefully it's growing in that direction because otherwise I don't know what's going on with this cucumber but um, there are tons of them other little ones here and like I said, if they're turning yellow, they didn't get fertilized like this guy up here. But these are hard to get off. Ugh, the sun. I don't know if you can see that. Um, because, you know, like I said, the cucumber has to be held on really, really well. Because otherwise it'll just fall there heavy. You know, it's cucumber. Um, and these are bigger cucumbers. So there's one coming in right here. There's another big guy right here. So this one's doing great. Um, and then I started both of these from seed, if you recall, one of them was from Dollar Store and the other one's Burpee. And I believe this is the Burpee one, this is the Dollar Store one. So this is the uh, Muncher Cuke, which is also supposed to be kind of small. And look how cute these guys are. They kind of remind me of the Persian one. So maybe this is what they sell as Persian, you know, at the store, like I said. Just small and kind of thin, I know, the sun or the shade. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy's probably ready. It's kind of funky looking, but there he is, looking good. Again, that little thin texture. So there's another one there that's looking great. That one's yellow, so I'll probably need to cut them off. Here's a whole bunch of them getting ready to come up. But whenever I come out here, I, I, there's always something out here. If it's not a bee kind of crawling around, there might be like a fly around or something. So all those things will help pollinate. Oh, don't I don't know, Mama. Um, so, you know, uh, as far as fertilizing... Upstairs. Okay. As far as fertilizing and stuff like that, guys, I mean, when I planted them, I put, you know, uh, uh, like vegetable fertilizer in the hole, and I put um, worm castings. I do worm castings like every couple weeks. I'll throw a little more on there. I do have some liquid fertilizer. Um, you know, initially I was using like more bloom or like the Alaska fertilizer. Um, I, I have another one that's like fish kelp and molasses or something like that. Um, that I use here and there. So, I, you know, I just try to do it every other week. Sometimes weekly on these guys because they are in pots, but they're doing great. I mean, also, it's just the the spring was very mild here and wet and, like, overcast. So, you know, they do get their little kind of mildewy look or their spottiness. But now that it's getting hotter, I mean, these thick guys, seriously, in the last few days have just, like, gone off. Like, <laughs> this is what they do. They love it. They're going to be making some really nice cucumbers. So thanks for watching guys. Um, maybe that gives you a little idea. You know, try it out. I think if you're still in California, it's not too late to plant some seeds, to be honest. As soon as they start growing, they just really start growing very vigorously. So thanks for watching. Um, they, oh, another question you might have as far as cucumbers. None of these that I've grown have been bitter at all. And I don't know if it's because I water them basically on Sundays and Wednesdays. And now that it's getting a little hotter, it's like today is 70 something to in the next week is gonna be in the 80s I'm gonna I've been doing Sunday Tuesday Thursday the sprinkler does go off on Sunday Wednesday and Friday but it doesn't really hit obviously these pots and it doesn't really drench the um, raised beds so Tuesday and Thursday is kind of like a one to I count to like five as I'm wetting them and on Sunday I do a really good soak through so you know you just gotta keep an eye on them, especially in uh, pots, okay? You might even have to do it daily, so. You know what, since I haven't posted this video, I wanna follow up with you guys. I made pickles out of 
the Persian cucumbers and the Kirby cucumbers because I had so many and that to be honest I still have like 10 maybe more you know on the vine and in my fridge um, but I only packed in what I could so this is an old pickle jar and this is an old pasta jar and what's kind of cool is that it'll reseal itself I don't know if you can see it's nice and flat so when you go to open it it'll go pop and it makes a nice pop sound uh, which I didn't realize, so I already opened these just to look at them, and I'm like, oh, bummer, I broke the seal. But I want to show them to you. Well, actually, hmm, I might be back. I don't know. I want to show them to you. Hopefully, I can do this with one hand, because um, if I have the recipe, what I did is I wrote it down, but I got it online, and it smells so good. So these are basically kosher dills. I did not have any fresh dill, which I do have growing. It hasn't even, well, it's barely sprouting. Let me try to arrange this. I just put you guys on a... A towel here, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna open these and give it a taste because they look pretty good. But it has garlic and all kinds of spices, you guys. So if you don't have these spices to go out and buy them, it's gonna cost like 20 bucks, maybe more. But I had most of them, I did have to get coriander and something else. But anyway, so I already, like I said, opened it so it didn't pop. But I was surprised about that because you had to let it cool before you put it in the fridge. But I guess they were still warm enough to make a suction once they got cold enough in the fridge, you know, it was still a little bit warm. But look how yummy. And it looks kind of gross, it looks like a little toad, right? Well, that's a pickle for you. But let me get a bowl. And I'll take like this one, it's kind of smaller. And you just pack them in as well as you can. Look at that, he's all translucent. Now these are not fermented, because it did start off with some, um, I'm trying to wipe the spices off. It did start off with some um, uh, vinegar, because I was like, well, I've never really made them before. I didn't want to mess with fermentation, even though I make my own kombucha and my own jun. I have the videos on that, and I'll link those in the description box if you're interested. But look how cute. This one was so fresh. When I went to wash them, it just, like, snapped off the edge. You're supposed to cut off the blossom tip and the other end. And it just fell off. When I was washing it, it, like, busted. It's a snap, you know? So I was like, okay. So I'm going to bite this. I don't know if you can hear that. It's crunchy. It's really good. Not super salty, sour. I'm sure if I had fresh dill, it'd be that much better, but I used dill weed, dried dill weed and dill seed instead. Hey, okay, sorry, my daughter came and asked me for something. I want to say it is very garlicky, maybe. It, and you know, she asked for eight garlic cloves, and if you're gonna use smaller jars, you divide everything that she asked for into two different jars. Um, you saw the size jars I'm using, or a half gallon. Uh, like mason jar, right? So if you're using one half gallon, you'll put the whole... The brand was really easy. It's just vinegar, water, and some uh, kosher salt or, you know, chunky salt. Um, so like I said, the salt, whatever. So it had eight cloves of garlic that are sliced, and I did six only because um, I was lazy and I only had six left in one. I didn't want to open another garlic. So I did six. If this had eight, I can imagine it would be much garlickier. But one note, if you do check out her recipe, um, she says to boil the garlic for a minute. Like bring it to a boil and boil it for a minute so it doesn't turn blue in the jar. So I used that same garlic water for the pickles. So that might have kicked up the garlic quotient a little bit, but it shouldn't have been that much because really it was only in the water for like a few minutes. Um, so yeah, really cool. Well, I'm happy with the way they turned out. I, mean, I grew them myself, uh, pickled them myself, and they're pretty good. So anyway. Um, I don't know if there's any other tips I wanted to mention about the cucumbers, but yeah, I think that's it. They're pretty easy to grow, guys. Just make sure you water my water to them early in the season, twice a week. And now I do it Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. I used to do Sunday, Wednesday. So, I mean, you know, obviously they don't take too much uh, care, in my opinion, to be honest. But they do have powdery mildew, and you can manage that. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll have the link, hopefully, if I can find it to this recipe, because it's really good. Really easy, guys. Super easy. This is two days. And it's already super pickly and delicious, and they last two months, uh, supposedly. But everyone says, you know, they just eat them up so quick. So and look at all the different sizes. I mean, they're from the garden, so it's what it is. All right. Bye now.